Yeah. Do that. Probably just trying to push one with the Yeah, the, the once a year you mow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mow a whole lot more than that, unfortunately. But anyway, happy Fourth of July to everybody out there. The weather cooperated. Absolutely. And uh, on to, uh, well, you know, a long time ago, somebody told me, the Fourth of July, it's Christmas. And I thought, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. <laughs> then I sat back and watched. Yeah. True words. Time flies. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. Time flies. It, it really does. does. I mean, it's going to be football season. and then It already is. Yeah, we'll be complaining about cold. They're sweating. Yep. <laughs> it's there we go. Season, yeah. yeah, and we'll be complaining about cold, and then we'll be complaining about it getting hot again, and Not then getting cold, and we'll yeah, th time. there's all sorts of things we need to get through, but it's going to happen very there fast. Still have a few fireworks ongoing for portions of East Texas. I'm not really seeing anything in the Longview Skyview, but we just did a one-hour broadcast on our sister station on Fox, and it was pretty incredible. Some of the beautiful fireworks displays that we had, but right now in Longview, we're not seeing any and it looks like a beautiful night. And as we look over at Tyler, beautiful night as well. You can see there we go. Uh, another leftover firework right there, and we've got a few more there in the distance uh, there in downtown. Now temperature wise, we are in the 80s for the most part. There's a group of 70s that would be Crockett, Lufkin, and also Nacogdoches there in the middle to upper 70s and then dew points in the 70s as well. Gulf moisture continues to increase and it's really not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm sorry to say and it does factor into your heat index, which is the true feels like temperature. Heat indexes are in the middle to upper 80s, some lower 90s as well. Satellite and radar, not a ton going on. We got another minor disturbance out to our west, one in the Colorado Rockies as well, uh, that will be moving in our directions. And unfortunately, that does mean another chance of some afternoon showers and thunderstorms as we move into tomorrow. A few clouds here and there, but we add that daytime heating in the afternoon. So it's going to be warm and muggy tomorrow afternoon. Probably not as warm as it could be at this time of year, but we won't complain about that. A couple of showers and thunderstorms here and there, and then we get a break tomorrow night into Thursday morning, but then we're under the gun for more showers and thunderstorms as we head into the late morning hours Thursday and early Thursday afternoon. There's the complex of storms that will be moving to the south and to the southeast, and we could see a couple waves of precipitation there Thursday afternoon and evening. This is four o'clock. You can see a few bubble up storms from Athens to Longview and Jefferson. Again, this isn't tomorrow. This is Thursday. I do think the rain will be more widespread on Thursday than it is tomorrow. But as we look at your Friday, we will see another chance at some bubble up showers and thunderstorms Friday afternoon. So here are your high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. We will be in the middle 90s for the most part. Mineola is at 95, 95 and sulfur springs and 93 will be the high temperature there in Jacksonville. Okay, quick look at the six to 10 day temperature outlook. We showed this to you at six o'clock. We'll show it to you again here at 10 o'clock. High temperatures between July 10th and July 14th, they will be in the middle to upper 90s, so it is going to be quite warm. Lows will be in the 70s and 80s, but the weather pattern looks to be less active, which means less chances of showers and thunderstorms. Now, could that change? Yes, it could, but that's what we have for you on the seven day forecast. So it's going to be warmer to the weekend and early next week than what we're seeing right now. That is in large part due to the fact I don't have rain in the forecast early next week. So we're going to start to creep a little closer to that 100 degree mark in deep east Texas. Similar trend as well. Some showers and thunderstorms the next couple of days and then we'll dry out this weekend, but we will get hotter. Neil Plenty.